If you're a small business owner and you're trying to figure out how to use ChatGPT to grow your business, be more productive and all of that stuff, you're going to love this video because I'm going to show you three ways that you can use it right now to really improve things for you. So first things first, I'm going to be using GPT 3.5 just for this part of the demo. And the first thing that we can do with ChatGPT is create content, whether that's an article or a blog that you can use to drive traffic to your website and increase your visitors and get more people into your business. So most people would put a prompt something like this if they're gonna write an article. So I've put, write me a 500 word article on how chatbots can help small businesses. Very basic very basic, simple prompt. We call that a prompt if you're new to this business. And off it goes, it will write a pretty good article. It almost always uses this word here, revolutionize, which I really wish it would stop doing. I think I'm gonna to have to actually add that to my future prompt to tell it to stop doing that. But it goes off and it does a reasonably good job of an article. Well, we say reasonable because you know things have moved on since this launched. This would have been an absolute revelation a few months ago, but it's not bad. And then it ends the article with a conclusion. Uh, in conclusion, chatbots have emerged as indispensable tools for small business owners. Great. Now, here's how you can improve that and make it a lot better. If we take the same prompt now, and I'm going to add a whole other bunch of stuff to it. So here's some other things. Firstly, I want to determine the output language. I've put English. I can go a step further than that if I want to and say British English, which means that in theory, it shouldn't have any Zs in like revolutionize or anything like that. And then uh, I've said to do it in a uh, journalistic style with a friendly and humorous tone. And then the grammatical is first person and then use FAQs at the end of the content. That's always good if you want to try and improve search engine rankings. Uh, search engines love it when you have FAQs at the end of your content. And then I want it all marked down. I want to use bullet points. I want to use bold headings and all of that stuff and block quotes. So we can just press this button now and we'll get ourselves an awfully lot better article created by ChatGPT. And off it goes. So first things first, we've got a nice bold title there, as you can see. Uh, as a small owner, a small business owner, I know the struggles of wearing multiple hats and juggling a dozen tasks at once. But hey, what if I told you there's a friendly, humorous little assistant that can lighten your load and give your business a boost? Meet the chatbot. And then off it goes, always on, always ready, budget friendly sidekicks. So we've got ourselves a nice looking article there and we've got a quote in the middle as well there, like sales guru monthly. I don't know if that actually exists. I would probably check on that one, but it's done a good job of creating the article with more details. And right at the bottom there, we've got our FAQ. So just by adding those things to the prompt from that very basic prompt there that we started with to the slightly more advanced version where we, we give it more information, we've got a better result. So that's something that you can do to use ChatGPT for your business right now. And if you're really into ChatGPT and you do want to learn more, you need to come over to here and join my free group, which has got 6,000 uh, 600 members in right now of people who are all pretty much fanatical about AI and ChatGPT. Lots of business owners from around the world, entrepreneurs, freelancers, coaches, consultants, you name it, fitness people, they're all in here looking to use AI for their business. So come and join. It's completely and utterly free. So getting back to what else we can do with ChatGPT. Here's another thing we can do. We all have to create social media content to grow our business, attract new customers, engage with potential customers and all of that. So I wanna show you a way that you can do a whole month's worth of content in just a few minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna use GPT-4 and I'm gonna pick a plugin called WebPilot, which allows me to connect ChatGPT to the web which is great because the normal 3.5 version is trapped within its own data, which runs up to September 2021 at the time of doing this video. And I'm going to put in this big prompt. And this just shows you the kind of level you can go to here with prompting. Look at all this. I'll zoom in on it a little bit for you. 
And I'm gonna say, I would like you to create a month's worth of social media content that would entice people to find out more about my products and services. My website is this, and that's a link to my product, my online course. So now it can go there using WebPilot, read about it, so it's current information, and then use that to do what I want. And I need uh, social media posts to go out every other day, so 15 posts. My target audience are entrepreneurs, coaches, and consultants, and so on. And I've asked it to put it all into a table and even, even tell me what it should, thinks that I should have for images as well to go with it. So I can just go to Canva and grab one. So off we go and let's see how well it does with that prompt right there. As I say, the only plugin I have enabled is WebPilot. And if you, if you wanna be really geeky, we can open it out and we can see what it's doing. So it's gone to the link that I gave it, uh, landing page true, and then it's grabbing the content, all of the text from that page. And then now look at it here. Based on the information gathered from your website, here's a table with a month's worth of social media content. If you like that, then please do press the like button and subscribe for more. I'll also put this prompt uh, underneath this video for you as well. So you can just grab it. How's that? And there you go. Look at that. We've got our posts being created. We've got the day of the month that it wants us to put it out. We've got our hashtags and we've even got an image description like this one here says, elevate your copywriting game with chat GPT. Learn to create high converting sales copy that boosts your business growth. And then over here, it suggested an image of a person writing on a notepad with a light bulb icon above their head. You've got to love chat GPT, right? And there we are in, in literally, what, not even a minute probably, we have now got ourselves all of this content ready to go. Here's another one, connect and convert with chat GPT. Learn to develop enticing quizzes and surveys that generate leads and segment customers. Good idea. And then it says an image of a quiz or survey or a digital device. Not, not brilliant description, but not bad. And that's it, it's, it's now finished. And it's given its usual advice at the end, which by the way, you can prompt out if you want to by telling it not to say anything at the end of actually carrying out the instruction, because sometimes it can be a bit annoying and it tends to sort of lecture you a little bit on, on what you should and shouldn't do. But never mind, it's brilliant. We've got our social media content. Now then, time for something else that you can do with ChatGPT. This time we're gonna do a little bit of research. So new chat, I am gonna again use GPT-4 and I'm gonna allow it to connect to the web using WebPilot. And I'm gonna do some research. So here's my prompt. I'm interested in setting up an online yoga product store in the UK. Can you do some research about the yoga market in the UK? And that would help me understand if this is a good niche to go into. Also create some visual charts so that it's easier for me to understand the data. So one more plugin we'll need is this one, Diagram. And then all we need to do is run that prompt and off it goes. It should now be scouring the web, uh, collecting all the information about the UK niche of uh, yoga, and then coming back to me with some useful information and hopefully producing some visuals that make it even easier for me to understand. So let's wait and see. And there we go, look at that. Based on the research, here are some key insights about the yoga market in the UK and globally. Uh, the number of people participating in yoga in the UK has been increasing over the years. In 2020, approximately 2.4 million people in the UK practiced yoga, which is a significant increase from the 1.9 in 2016. So there we are. Now, what's it gonna do with that? It's going to create three different charts, it's told me right there. And it's using the other plugin, uh, Diagram, to go and create them. So uh, it's on number two already. And here's the charts. It's given us a link to one right there. The number of people practicing yoga in the UK in millions, following from 2016 to uh, 2020. And then all we need to do is just literally uh, go ahead and click on that link and then it opens up and there we are look at that so we can see that it's a rising market very very quick and easy to see 
Next up, what's this one? Annual growth of the yoga and Pilates studios industry in the UK. That could be important. So it kind of peaked there in 2018. We can see that even down the right hand side, it's it's moving along with us. So it's a dynamic chart that was created, you know, literally from ChatGPT and that one free plugin. So if you like this, please do press that like button. And then here's the final chart, the projected growth of global yoga mat market in billions. Wow, that's serious. Look at that. 15 billion by 2029. We're all going to be doing it at this rate then by the look of it. So there's there's three ways that you can start using ChatGPT as a small business owner right now to um, be able to be more productive and do things that would normally take people a lot of time to do. And again, a quick reminder, feel free to come and join my free chat gpt community i think it's pretty much the biggest online actually we've got 6.6 thousand members uh, from all around the world and you are very welcome to become one of them all right thanks ever so much for watching really appreciate you and here comes another video any second now that you might like